people, to our country today, brothers and sisters and comrades and friends, if we want to achieve real freedom, it has to be with the involvement of the 51% women of our country who must be truly emancipated and freed from the kind of rule and the kind of behavior that Jacob Zuma is responsible for. The second point I would like to make, we stand here on hollowed ground, hallowed ground. We pass this place frequently. We never fail to but think of what it stands for, and we always bow to it. But in this past weeks, with the ruling of the Constitutional Court and what has taken place, and their findings that the president of this country went against his oath of office it gave us such pride and hope and courage in what South Africa is. And this particular arm of power stands absolutely untarnished. And we see the executive and the legislature tarnished by their behavior. And for civil society, and I come to that, my third point, we must remind the rulers, and we must remind our people, Yabantu, Jekelele Ikaya, South Africa, that civil society, and if we refer to the estates of the French Revolution and what they talked about, the executive, the legislature, the judiciary, and they came to add the fourth, the media before us here. But in these modern times, in this world, throughout every corner, Jigalele, every corner of this world, we see a people, we see civil society, we see the trade unions, the religious groups,